One of the biggest breaking stories in recent times is breaking to the world just now that scientific research for the first time has detected life on the planet Venus. Wait till you hear this. Published in the journal Nature on Monday 14th September is a stunning paper that claims that scientific astronomers on planet Earth have detected life on our neighboring planet, Venus. Ever since the old Soviet Venera missions of the 60s and 80s, has our fascination with Venus heightened to such a degree that it is forecast by some researchers that structural remains will be found on this planet from a past civilization and a grouping together of the three planets of Venus, Earth, and Mars in some sort of interplanetary war will become known and only life on Earth survived such an event, according to some. Venera 13, a Soviet spacecraft, was the first lander to transmit color images from the surface of Venus. Although other landers arrived before and after it, pictures from Venera 13 are more widely circulated because they are in color. The spacecraft was designed to last about half an hour on Venus's harsh surface, but it ended up transmitting data for more than two hours after its landing on March 1, 1982. No lander has ventured to the surface of Venus since the 1980s, although several orbiters have made the journey. Ever since then, our discovery of Venus has taken place via astronomy, and this latest discovery is the result of these excruciating efforts. Using the James Clark Maxwell Telescope, JCMT, in observations of Venus over five mornings in June 2017, the researchers have detected the chemical phosphine in the thick Venus atmosphere, and after much analysis, the scientists assert that something now alive is the only explanation for the chemical's presence on Venus. If no known chemical process can explain the presence of phosphine within the upper atmosphere of Venus, then it must be produced by a process not previously considered plausible for Venusian conditions. This could be unknown photochemistry or geochemistry or possibly life. Information is lacking and the photochemistry of Venusian cloud droplets is almost completely unknown. Temperate but hyperacidic Venusian clouds has been proposed for decades as potentially habitable. Despite obvious difficulties such as resisting destruction by sulfuric acid, it has been proposed that any detectable phosphane found in the atmosphere of a rocky planet is a promising sign of life. And this latest research has shown that biological production of phosphine is favored by cool acidic conditions, with initial modeling based on terrestrial biochemistry suggests that biochemical reduction of phosphate to phosphine is thermodynamically feasible under Venus cloud conditions. One of the researchers at the University of Harvard Clara Souza Silva says that we know that this is an extraordinary discovery. We may not know just how extraordinary without going back to Venus to explore. Phosphine is a biosignature for life on other worlds and if further observations can back up these claims and can confirm that life does in fact exist on the planet named after the Roman god of beauty, then we will of course know exactly what to look for in the atmospheres of exoplanets. This news is currently reverberating around the world and the tantalizing feeling is that we are on the verge of a major discovery of the discovery of life signature on planet Venus. This could be the first observation we made which reveals an alien biosphere and well, what do you know? It's only the closest planet to home in the entire universe. Venus is one of the most beautiful objects in Earth's sky and often called Earth's twin in astronomical circles, as Venus is roughly the same mass as that of the Earth, and many scientists do now think that Venus was once covered in water and possessed an atmosphere where life as we know it could have flourished. And this fact is only frustrated by NASA's refusal to explore the place where our women apparently came from, with only one Japanese probe currently studying the planet compared to the attention Mars is getting. Although the surface of Venus is like a blast furnace, a cloud layer just 31 miles below the top of its atmosphere may reach temperatures as low as 86 degrees Fahrenheit, about 30 degrees Celsius. 
which would be very pleasant if it also had something to breathe, like say oxygen or something, because that area of Venus just happens to also have a pressure similar to that at ground level on Earth. And for years now, many planetary scientists, including Carl Sagan and Harold Morowitz, who proposed the idea 53 years ago, have hypothesized that life may in fact exist there. Jane Greaves is the astronomer of Cardiff University responsible for this groundbreaking discovery of a lifetime. Phosphine is the signature for life, and she told the Lost History Channel that, I certainly did not expect to find that on Venus, but I got intrigued by the idea of looking for phosphine because phosphorus might be a bit of a sort of go-no-go -no -go for life. Dr. Sousa Silver was surprised when Dr. Greaves said that she had detected phosphine and told the Lost History Channel, that moment plays in my mind a lot because I took a few minutes to consider what was happening. If there really was phosphine on Venus, then there would be no other obvious explanation than anaerobic life on Venus. The team needed a more powerful telescope last year in 2019, finding all signs pointing to phosphine, and a lot of it, ranging from 5 to 20 parts per billion, and that's, believe it or not, thousands of times more than what is in Earth's atmosphere. Dr. Sousa Silver, Dr. Greaves, and their colleagues had planned to complete additional telescope observations earlier this year, but the pandemic and Venus's limited time above the horizon interfered with their ability to gather more evidence, leaving many questions unanswered. But they do plan to further confirm this find and invite other telescopes with these detection abilities to now focus their technology on Venus to help confirm to the world of the detection of life on Venus. The finding itself is astonishing, simply astonishing. But what do you guys think about this anyway? Comments below and as always, thank you for watching.